got a hate crime video up on Infowars.com. Gays brutally beat Christians in America. And you've got uh, a, 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 a gang of gays. Uh, and it's not that I mind calling them gays. I have to use the term everybody orders me to use. It's all brainwashing. I mean, you would call it heterosexuals. What would you call it? Straights? Imagine if a group of straights beat up some gay people. It would be national news everywhere, as it now is. And I think that's wrong when people do that. This is a giant horde of people beating up Christians that came out to stand on the street corner and exercise their First Amendment. And, you know, the fact that this doesn't get any attention... I mean, it's just like groups of blacks attacking whites all over the country. It needs to get attention to say it's wrong so people don't morally think it's okay. Just like the Ku Klux Klan used to go around beating blacks up and worse because they thought it was morally okay. I, I just cannot stand the double standards. I, just this, I was watching this video during the break. It, it just blew me away. That video is up on InfoWars.com. Watson, I'm going to keep you with us another 30 minutes or so here and... Uh, take some phone calls. If people want to join us on air, first time callers, 800 259 9231. 800 259 9231. And again, we're showing this video. It starts with just, you know, kind of some hen pecking and pushing and then turns into just a melee of trendies beating people up. And I tell you what, man, you do that to me, you're going to get your nose taken off very quickly. I'm just so sick of wimps, like, thinking they can push everybody around. Like that guy yesterday, he, like, gets up and he goes, I told you get out of here. And I'm, like, I'm being polite to the guy before that. And I'm, like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just so sick of weirdos thinking it's their right to attack people. I don't care who they are. Uh, let's go back to Paul Watson. This is a short segment, Watson. What do you make just of the general craziness? In your gut, where do you think everything's going, Watson? Um, I think it's going towards the complete collapse of society, but on a very slow motion process. I mean, the thing you're talking about on Infowars, collectivists and liberals will preach tolerance all day, but they won't tolerate people's free speech if they disagree with it. It's like those two bloggers who tried to get into the UK to speak at a rally. They were critical of an extremist Islam, and the Home Secretary said, no thanks, we're going to deport you. They didn't get in the country. While at the same time, extremist Islam preachers who call for killing all Jews and Christians are allowed into the country, allowed to preach at mosques on a regular basis. And have TV shows. Yeah, While I was exactly. there, I saw it on TV. Right. So it's, it's about, oh, we, we tolerate free speech. Everybody's going to be inclusive. But don't criticize minorities, even if they're extremists, and even if their behavior deserves Even if they're racist, absolutely. Well, here's the deal. The globalists are a lot of different combines together run by central banks, but it is a leftist, anti-Christian, anti-family group of kind of Jacobins. They tried this in the French Revolution to end the family, change the week to nine days. They want to play God, and they want to pull down existing things, existing structures, and they really are... The globalists will team up with anybody as long as it hurts families and Christians. I mean, there is a bias against families and Christians. They, I mean, we know when the globalists get control, they come after us. I mean, it's that simple. But I mean, Christians all over the world, it's not just a cultural war in the West. All over the world, Christians are being expunged, being ethnically cleansed, and nobody's really talking about it. It's happening all across the Middle East. Christians are under direct assault. And nobody seems to be that concerned about it because they're not. I mean, minority. so what if they take a family out and chop their heads off on the roof screaming Allah Akbar? I mean, Obama got a peace prize. You racist? Why are you racist against Obama? Apologize to Media Matters listening right now. How dare you not want to behead children? How dare you not want to eat people's hearts? Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.
Listening to the 911 call uh, of this uh, poor woman, we covered this a few days ago, uh, but now it's big national news, the Time Dispatch is covering it, where she went for a uh, benefit to get some cookie dough and bottled water. And the undercover liquor police come running out screaming and yelling, and her and her friend thought that they were being attacked and so they begin to drive off. Then the police swarm them, pull them over, and then say, roll your window down. So they go to start the car again. They point guns at them, pull them out of the vehicle, slam them to the ground, and then charge them with three felonies. And, folks, this is what's so scary. This is happening all over the place. We've got videos up on Infowars.com of checkpoints from California to West Virginia where you drive up to one. they got dogs and lights and everything, and they want to search your car. And if you say no, man, they start screaming, jerk you out of the car, flip out. This is a serious crime. And they'll use the cover of a DWI checkpoint. Give me a break. The government ships most of the narcotics in on record. The big banks launder it on record. And I'm just calling it. I'm done. I'm done. And so now I see police eating. Hey, you pull me over randomly. I'm going to come up and talk to you. I'm going to go, hey, you guys know about the New World Order? And they go, yeah, Alex, we do. And we're trying to wake people up. I'm like, oh, great. Well, let me buy a you know, piece of pie or something. But I go over there and they get arrogant. They're going to get a whole speech. And if they want to do something to me, go ahead. I'm done. I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm only afraid of living like a slave. And again, we obsess on the police because you are what? Where the rubber meets the road. From Romania to Egypt, the fight against tyranny, you are going to be key in this. And we have the 911 audio. We're going to play uh, part of it. Let's go to that and then get Watson's take on this. Uh, here is uh, part of the clip. 911. Hi. Um, we have a we have a problem in the Harris Theater parking lot. We're surrounded by people. And Somebody fighting? Oh, my God. What's going on? We don't know if they're real police officers or not, and we're freaking out. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Does somebody have a gun or something? Does somebody have a gun or something? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, what's your name? I'm sorry. Um, I'm Ann Downey. Who's chasing you? Pardon? Who's chasing you? We Okay, so we were surrounded by, like, six people, and they started flashing. Well, they were yelling at us, and then... We, like, didn't know if they were real police officers. By the way, it's normal to be scared by people running up crazy. Stop it for a minute. Badges. And it just gets worse as they scream and yell and then drag them out and then throw them on the concrete and charge them with felonies. But this is what it's all about, the fun of rushing in on two women in a parking lot who've bought cookie dough. Again, over alcohol, over marijuana, over all these things, it's just an excuse to say we're all suspects, but the government, historically, that's the most dangerous thing. That's a fact. And it gets even more horrific. It's it's linked up on Infowars.com. How much more of this is there, guys? And again, there's five minutes of this. It gets real bad towards the end. You can hear them when they're drug out on the road and the, and the phone's still picking it up. That happened in Virginia. Uh, let me go to Paul Watson uh, on this. Then we have the other video up on the site of uh, West Virginia where the cop flips out at a warrantless checkpoint uh, because the guy doesn't want to answer all their questions and let him search his car. Uh, I mean, it's just incredible. And the argument is we're going to find bad guys. What, you might find a felon with a gun? But they never seem to get the actual bad guys. No, it's always about us because the state is literally feeding off of us. We have the biggest prison population in the world, Paul. Well, yeah, because it's an industry. But in this case, they charged her with two assaults because her vehicle grazed two of the agents. So <laughs> she is, even though they attacked her, and apparently from what I read before, they were plain clothes. So she didn't even know they were cops. They could have been a gang of thugs just attacking her, which is actually what they were. But she got charged with assault. Good news is that they dropped the charges last week. So 
you know, there is a shred of common sense left. Well, let me tell you but how I mean, this is with some of these undercovers now in areas where this is put up with. And again, it varies department to department. I'll see them. Well, we've seen the, the surveillance videos in other cases where you'll have two of them walking and a woman tries to go around them. And then they walk in front of her and then shove her up against the wall for just fun. And I mean, it's literal clockwork orange droogie behavior. I really don't know what's going on in America, Alex, because it's, you know, it's it's pretty bad in other parts of the world in the West, but it's it's never that bad. People marvel at the level of tyranny that American cops like to engage in because it's just unparalleled. You know, we had the story last week of them strapping people down in prisons, forcibly drawing blood while the victim screams, you know, what country is this? The only place you'd see that is in North Korea or communist China. I mean, come on. This article's up on Infowars.com. Hate crime, gays brutally beat Christians in America. And we showed part of it, not the really brutal part earlier. I want to show some of the brutal part. It goes on for five minutes. These Christians are there with their signs on the green, away from the gay pride uh, march. And the people come over and take turns punching them and hitting them for five minutes before piling on and taking the guy's sign away. And the police do nothing. And, and I saw the same thing in Seattle in my film Battle for the Republic that's online if people want to see it, where the, the illegal aliens block the road for like an hour. So the guy gets out and protests it silently, and the police come and slam his head in the ground with blood spurting, and the illegals celebrate and join in, knocking the man's windows out with the cops high-fiving and celebrating as they attack their car. I mean, these, these, these are just warped gangs. Uh, working with the police. And in Seattle, remember during the WTO, they banned free speech. You couldn't have in the city an anti-WTO pin. Uh, just, just amazing. Well, they, they use the minority against the majority, and we're all being manipulated. That's what we need to understand. These people who beat up preachers, you know, then they complain when cops pepper spray them in the face. Well, you know, join together, support everybody's freedom of speech, and then we're all going to be stronger for it. Don't nitpick and create divisions and allow yourself exactly. to cops, use it as a weapon. Exactly. Cops, and good cops are the best about this. Like, we're going to get the fellow on that was in the New York airport, the, the, the sheriff's deputy. Uh, who you know, wouldn't arrest the lady for handing out flyers in the commons. He goes, no, she has a right to do it, even when he was ordered by the bureaucrat to do it. And it turned out the sheriff backed him and he did the right thing. This is your right as well, bureaucrats, police. You are an American as well. Stop acting like we're all slaves and you're first class citizens. We need to all come together here. It's amazing, Alex. I wanted to get to this other story, though, before I get off, which is basically received next to zero attention. You remember probably six months ago in the UK, there was this big horse meat scandal where they found like 1% of meat in some beef products was horse. And they had, you know, government inspecting abattoirs. They had new standards legislation come out almost immediately. Yesterday, it came out, a lab in uh, Louisiana analyzed Pepsi and Coke and found a cancerous carcinogen that is a caramel colorant used in Pepsi and Coke. Eight times the safe limit, this cancerous carcinogen. And Pepsi comes out, admits it, says that it's in the drink, and says, well, we'll, we'll try and get it out by February next year. So seven months, this cancerous carcinogen is going to be in Pepsi. And do you know what else they put in Pepsi on, pur on purpose, part of Bilderberg Group? Dead baby cells. And I, again, I first heard this three years ago, didn't believe it. There were federal court cases and they ruled the stockholders of PepsiCo who wanted to stop it cannot stop it. So it's baby flavoring. I mean, I mean it, it, it's just lunacy. Lunacy. You know that it came out, they first tried to claim that was a hoax. Then a couple of months later when pro-life groups were boycotting Pepsi, they had to come out and admit it and say they were going to remove it. So again, they the media treated it as a hoax. Two months later, Pepsi admitted it was true and said they were going to remove it. But now they're saying, oh, maybe in seven months we'll remove this cancerous carcinogen. It's in the existing supply. Compare that to the horse meat scandal in Britain, 
which everybody freaked out for weeks and weeks. There was legislation immediately, inspections, because some horse meat's in beef. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting, but it's not going to kill you. No, no, they Eight always distract with something like that. They always distract with, one person died from E. coli. Sh don't eat any greens ever again. Meanwhile, oh, yeah, uh, uh, we're putting hydrofluorosilicic acid in your water fluoride. It does kill you. It does cause massive cancer and brain damage. Harvard study. But we're going to keep doing it and laugh at you if you don't like it. And this, um, it's called 4-methylimidazole. It's this chemical compound. It's in roasted foods, grilled meats, coffee, types of caramel coloring. 2007 study found that it, it, high doses of this were carcinogenic in mice and female rats. So they've known about it for six years. It's at eight times the level, according to this lab study, in Coke and Pepsi. And they're saying, oh, maybe next year we'll remove it. Yeah, and no, 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 listen, they replace. add poisons, the, the secret flavoring in these things and... In, in the uh, meat sauces on record, um, the, the, the big industrial ones, uh, and also uh, some of the other, uh, you know, quote, flavor enhancers they use are really poisons on purpose because they found in major studies that many poisons are actually addictive. So what they're doing is adding these poisons on purpose so you wonder why you get a high off of it. It's incredible. Paul Watson, stay there. We're going to come back and take phone calls. because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is free humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. 
I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. But uh, let's go to your phone calls. Bulldog in Washington says he's a police officer, wants to comment on current events. You're on the air, Bulldog. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? Oh, man, I tell you, it's a crazy world. Uh, how are you? It is. I just wanted to tell you, uh, you know, as being a field training officer for years, uh, I call it contempt of cop. Uh, when a police officer is challenged and he, he or she may not know what to say, They'll bull up, and I call it contempt of cop, and I explain that to all the new recruits that come in uh, over the years that, listen, we don't always have the answers, and and uh, I was always taught uh, as a young police officer, I've been a cop for 16 years, is uh, when in doubt, don't do it, and always act, always know by the by uh, what authority you, uh, you uh, um are on because uh, the problem is is you've got a lot of young police officers coming in out of the military and it's the training that they're getting at the academy that's uh, you're seeing more of this combative uh, behavior. That's right. They were in Fallujah a year before and now they're there and, and and of course I do things and get mad and afterwards feel like a jerk all the time. I'll be rude or bow up. You know, we've got testosterone. I know police have a tough job. I want to be clear about that. But if people sign up for it and then you've got a power structure that wants to corrupt the police. It, 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 it's up to the police culture to resist that. And, and look, I want to be honest. I know the police have been resisting being warped. I know that internal battle is going on. Do you have any comments on that? Well, I agree. And it, and it all comes down to this, Alex. It's training, 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 and recruiting. The state I work in in Washington State has some of the highest standards throughout the United States for policing, okay? We're a very extreme, we're a liberal uh, uh, state, and uh, it's probably one of the best states for citizens to uh, to live in because we do honor people's rights here. Well, no, I, I found I'll that in the rural you. areas of some of the smaller towns, but what about Seattle where they let, uh, you know, gay people, 15 of them, beat up a preacher? Well, I watched that video, and it looks like SPD did to their job. They arrested the guy with the big gut. It's kind of funny. His girlfriend or wife that was with the baby carriage was kind of kissing the police's rear. But in the background, you could see that police officer watching that guy's iPhone. I, um, I'm, oh, see, I'm I missed sure that. that. I, I didn't even pick. Okay, I'm wrong again. Oh, so they did arrest him. Good. Yeah, and, you know, and this is the I live on the eastern side of the state, which is more conservative um, than Seattle. I mean, it, that's unfortunately... Uh, King County and Pierce County dictate what the rest of the state does, and they're super liberal over there. So I'm, I'm grateful I, I work in a very conservative area. And I can honestly tell you, in the county that I work in, um, people still wave with all their fingers. I mean, we're, we're highly respected. And we treat the citizens with respect. And this, is, and this is what I'll tell you in closing. I am a public servant, and I tell the new guys that come on, we are servants first. We serve the people that's who pays our paycheck. And let me tell you, majority of the guys, at least in my area, they have that mentality. And that's why people respect us. We partner with the community. And that's why sure, we don't have to. Sure, let me ask you that. this briefly. And then we're going to get Watson's take on this and more calls. Are the police starting to notice that the government is publicly running Al-Qaeda overseas and doing all this creepy stuff? You know, I, the guys I talk to, I'll be honest with you, they, they just want to do their job. They're just there to... Uh, do their job and go home to their families. Uh, some of them, you know, think that I'm a little out there, you know, conspiracy theory, but that's okay because I know that I'm telling the truth. I know, but exactly. You know, Here's I, my I, message to people. Look, it, things have gotten crazy. We've got to get out of this normalcy bias. God bless and be safe out there, sir. Uh, and I appreciate you being a public service. Thank you for your service.
I want people to listen to me, folks. This is not a game, okay? I may bounce around and act crazy and stuff because it gets to me, okay? The New World Order is real. This takeover is real. The federal government has been taken over by foreign crazy banks. They're installing snooping systems in all the appliances. Watson, final comments. I'm going to come back with Kaiser and the rest of the callers. Um, final comments on cops is, I guess, you know, a lot of them are friendly. They're doing their job as they should be, and it doesn't get in the news. So that's, that's what I cling on to. I just don't understand how many of them can't differentiate between, you know, obvious criminal scum, which they have a very difficult job in dealing with, and people who simply know their rights. Why do they lump them into the same category when it's very obvious that they're a different kettle of fish? I don't get it. Exactly. I mean, why beat up a woman who, uh, who, who ask you a few questions? I mean, it's it's crazy. It's just it's crazy. And I'll tell you, it's almost always the narcotic squads, the special groups that have been corrupted, who are just around scum all day, and they just become scum themselves. Almost every major narcotic squad in this country, folks, has police they're dealing drugs on it. In fact, it's the exception when they're not. And the Mexican mafia where I live in Texas is buying the police off. I just hate watching our country rot. I mean, America is rotting. And, and, and it's positive to admit that's happening so we can turn it around. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.